So Levi's dropped some news. I've been expecting this, I just didn't think it would happen so soon. But the 1960s are out. They're zippered pairs, a 501Z. And I think they can be compared to the 54s, the 55s, and the 1966s. It's looking like they're a zippered pair of baggy fit. So a battle compared to the 1954Zs might be a thing we can do. The 54 zippered are tight. The 55 are very loose. The loosest pair that they've ever made. The 60s, if we look at the measurements here, seem like they have a lot of baggy room around the hips, but then are more straight in the leg and have a very large inseam or a seam between, they're gonna be high-waisted. They're limited edition, they're about a thousand pairs because there's 500 rigid and then 500 of this uh, light blue distressed rumble. I don't know why they're pricing the rumble at a hundred dollars more than the rigid, but that's what they're doing. I don't see the rumble for sale in the US and I, I see the rigid is sold out online for Japan. They'll be available in Europe starting October 15th. Personally, I'm going to skip this one. Being limited edition, they're already $100 more, and I'm not interested in just buying and selling. I'm also not that much of a fan of zippers. I'm a West Coast boy. I grew up on Button Fly. If you've ever seen something about Mary, you know why I don't like zippers. But it's also a more baggy fit. I like, I have a pair of 54s, and I do wear them because I like the fit. It's a nice, tight fit. I cuff up the ankles to show off my selvage line. But this is just a teaser video. I'm hoping to do a full video on these eventually. Uh, personally, if someone does buy this pair, one of my viewers, and you can send me a picture of the letter that comes in the back pocket, and maybe your own little review, I'd love to read the letter. Now, if I go to the Japanese site, I look in the item description, I think this is pretty much what the letter is, so I might as well go ahead and read that. The 501Z was first released in 1954. This item was born from the expansion of Levi's sales channels. Until then, Levi's was hugely popular on the west coast of the United States. On the other hand, for most people living in the East Coast area, button fly work pants themselves were unfamiliar. Based on the original 501 shrink to fit jeans, the traditional button fly has been changed to a zipper fly so that people on the East Coast will be familiar with the American classic Levi's. Named the iconic silhouette, rivets, durable and flexible denim and other details have been loved by longtime fans and have been preserved. As a result, retailers across the United States have begun selling both 501 jeans and 501Z zipper blocks. Levi's is now reprinting the 1960 version of the 501Z in classic Cole Mills white oak denim. Faithful to the details of the time, the belt loop in the middle is off-centered and finished with a slightly boxy silhouette. This is a limited quantity item that is manufactured only 501 pieces in the world. Yeah, I'll be honest, the off-centered belt loop sounds kind of cool. I wish they would do that more with the cinch pairs. But otherwise, uh, uh, rivets in the back, covered rivets instead of bar tacks, and the baggier fits, paper patch, zipper fly. If you're really into zippers, I'd recommend this pair, and that's why I'm not purchasing them. I think if you're a zipper guy and a 501 guy, that's unique, but go for these pairs. Will they release these in a non-limited edition? I'm not sure. 
Uh, I'm thinking no. It's going to be more like the 1971s. And I'm, this is just the only ones that they'll ever have out there. But they've been making 501 zippered for 54s for so long that, yeah, why don't you just switch it up into this one now? 